Previously on building Benny's movie park. And just like this, we're gonna go all the way down. I'm pretty sure right about here is a good place to start for now. This is harder than I thought, guys. Now this whole track is completed and it's one big mess. It looks very satisfying. I don't know why. It's just, it, it's quite an interesting uh, view like this. Can you spot the difference? That's right, I'm bald now. Like that one guy pointed out, I started to look like a llama, so at that point I was like, you know what, let's, um, let's do something about it. Anyway, welcome back to building Benny's movie park. Today, we have some fantastic stuff we're gonna do, as always. So, yeah, well, let's just get into it. Last episode, we made those splash boats, and we also made that tunnel, so today I'm gonna make another tunnel. So, I'm gonna go in here and see what we gotta do. Last time we did this one, and then here, it's gonna go back in. So, now the question is, what is this gonna be? I read some of your ideas in the comments, but I think the sewer idea is still the best one, so I guess I'm gonna just uh, stick with that. Now, I just have to figure out what's the best way to do it. Since we need a base anyway, we might as well start the same way we started the other one, and that's creating creating some sort of base on the lower side of the track. Although this one is going to be a little tougher because this one is going to take quite a few turns. This has to be the most brain dead work ever, like seriously. Once again, we are joined by our good friends to make the work lighter and the fun bigger. I don't think it has to go much further than this, so uh, I'll just go from here. Now, how are we gonna... Ooh, it's very dark. Now, how are we gonna make this round? That's the question of the day. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff we can work with, but what's the best? I don't really know. This does seem to be a very good stuff. Uh, I wonder what happens if I put this on the other side as well, like this, and then bring it up. And just like this, make a circle. It's not round though. It's gonna be this, except one higher, like so. And then we're doing that, and then it is round. Oh, there you go. And I bet we can bring this one up as well. Look, I, I mean... I mean, this is gonna be years of work, but I mean, if, if it works, uh, you don't hear me complaining. So I'm just gonna do the same thing here, like that, and the final one down here. Oh, this is gonna look fantastic. Maybe we should first paint it though, since I don't wanna have to do that afterwards. So we can try metal, but I feel like, yeah, no, that's, that's too much. This has a different vibe, but I'm not sure this is what I'm going for either. I think brick is actually the best one. It's not great. But it does have the sewer vibe, so I guess we should go with that. Or maybe simply concrete. Yeah, this is better. Ah, I can already imagine what this is gonna look like. Check this out. This is looking super cool. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, that's amazing. Now let's paint the final blue areas and then we can put some lights in here. Because as you can see, now it is quite dark. I mean, I guess it does have kind of a cool vibe, but it's not what I'm aiming for. It's just continuing to look better and better in here. First though, this entrance has to look a bit nicer because right now this is this is not cutting it. And like this, I'm gonna close up the edges. Then these have to be the same material and then we're all set. And there you go, that's looking a lot better right there. So uh, then let's put some lights in here. It's gonna be very minimal, just uh, one or two. Maybe one of these ceiling lights. Let's make it yellow instead or maybe a bit orange. And let's decrease the range just like this. Look, that is nice. And then the exact same thing a bit further down the tube like that. Oh, that is fantastic. Maybe we can even set them to blink just like this so it blinks. Oh, I love that so much. I bet it's gonna go through it way too fast, but in general, this is just very cool. I'm actually dying to see what this looks like. We all know what this looks like by now. Then we are going down through the first tunnel. There you go. Oh, that's fantastic. That's even better than the first one. That's so much better than the first one. Now I almost feel bad that I didn't do the other one like this as well and then just call it the Chamber of Secrets. Well, tits. Anyway, that means that now the only thing I still have to do is this spiral right here. And I'm thinking this could be some sort of Forbidden Forest type of vibe. And then it has the spiders and everything. Gonna be pretty cool, but it's not gonna be too crazy because uh, I'm going to start by making sort of a floor base. Because ever since I made such a mess down here, we just need something to work with. So let's just go and create a nice base. I'm just out here trying to conceal everything every single little open corner I can find. I think that's pretty much 
everything. Except for this, but that I'm gonna have to do in a different way because it's really close to uh, the track. So anyway, um, right now it's time to decorate all this. Guess what we are going to start with? One guess. Placing a bunch of rocks. These we will paint and there you go. Just like this, I'm once again gonna make the same landscape I've been building for way too long, that's for sure. By the way, in the meantime, there was something that came to my attention. As you can see, a lot of you guys are not subscribed and that is absolutely horrible. That's a crime. No, just kidding. I'd never force you to subscribe. But if you do like my content and want to support me, then I would actually genuinely be very happy about that. It shows me that you guys really enjoy this content and want to support me in the future and that's just that's just heartwarming. So of course if you're not sure yet I'm not gonna push you to subscribe but if you feel like you want to watch this content more often then just consider doing so. That would be fantastic. I feel like these corners on top are the most important areas. You're going through it with quite some speed so you won't really look at the ground I think. I can also make one of these huge poles in the middle so you're actually going around something. That seems like a genius idea. Then just like like all the other exits and entrances, I feel like a smoke machine is in order. So let's go and put one right here where it goes in. See, that closes it up nicely and then you go in. Fantastic! Now, what am I gonna put in here? I mean, obviously some spiders like I said, but I think some green stuff wouldn't hurt either. Also, it's not really gonna be the Forbidden Forest, but I'm just sort of aiming for that vibe, so... Well, there you have it. Let's start making some mossy areas the way we've been doing it all this time. And just like this, I'm just gonna put some of that stuff here and there. And then using these spiders, I'm gonna spice it all up. Unfortunately, we cannot change the purple color. That's uh, a bit weird. I don't know why that is, but uh, that's unfortunate, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's kind of sucks. After all, it's gonna be very dark in here anyways, so you won't see much in the first place. So now I put some all over the place, not too many, just enough to make it uh, scary and moody. So then let's work on the light because this is pathetic. Let's remove this one for starters. And then it is quite literally pitch, pitch black. Let's go and grab a torch, which we will put somewhere here. So let's increase the range. There you go. Brightness. And this one I'm gonna copy a few times. You can really barely see anything. Then the only thing I'm really missing are vines. So I'm gonna make some hanging, well, all over the place once again. Since it's super dark, I'm not gonna bother painting them. You know what? I think it is time for a full on-ride experience. <laughs> I completely forgot about this entire little hill right here and uh, as I promised this is going to be the hill where the Whomping Willow or Weeping Willow, I don't know which one it is. But that means that first we need to put some green on here because clearly it's a rock and it needs to have some grass and trees and fun stuff. So let's go ahead and place down some of these bushes again to hopefully create a nice smooth grass landscape. Bush after bush, a lot of fun. And of course I can also use a few of these big trees again because I'm a lazy little sh**. I got once again distracted. What if we put water here? On this corner right here I'm gonna build some sort of entrance. An entrance to the outside so technically that makes it an exit but who cares. Let's make it nice and high just like that. Let's make this a nice concealed wall. We can also use walls to seal off the entire right side. That actually seems the easiest way to get rid of this view because 
Uh, maybe it can just go all the way back to the staircase. Of course, we cannot forget about these balls. I mean, by now it's tradition almost. So let's make a few rows of these. Absolutely freaking fabulous. Then to completely 100% seal it off, let's add a nice roof to it. And then the inside we can make similar to the roller coasters entrance because that just looks very nice. And then I'm just gonna add one of these typical wooden structures once again because why do I feel like I have to explain myself every time? Stop saying because. It actually is a little different though. I like that. To create some light in here, let's put some lanterns on the wall. Some of them I will then put on blink to create an extra little mood effect just like this makes it more mysterious i totally forgot about the fences there you go i almost forgot about the underground windows those are essential then here against the wall i'm gonna put some tools just because i can no reason absolutely 100 random Altogether, i feel like this is good enough we can't go too crazy because i'm already pretty much halfway into the file size limit which is not great because we're not halfway into the park it sucks 100% I know, but uh, I can't change it. But that means I'm gonna call this station finished. So uh, let's continue down the track. I think I'm just gonna keep this entrance natural. I kind of like this. Just like most of the Jurassic Park rides. Let's go and let nature do its thing. Now the only big things I still have to do are all the entrances. Because this is just completely boring. These entire areas are completely untouched. This uh, still needs some work. And then of course we have the entire inside of the boat ride, which I haven't done either so uh, we're not done yet but I feel like we might and I'm not promising this but we might be able to finish this entire Harry Potter area within this and the next episode but that's no promise who knows how long that's gonna take so uh, let's see can we do something else now nah, I think for today we've done quite enough if you like this video and think you know what I want to see more of that. Consider subscribing because it supports me and I'd be eternally grateful. And also if this channel reaches 100k subscribers before the end of the year, I promised I'd dye my hair purple. So uh, anyways, consider subscribing, like the video, and then I hope I'll see you in the next episode of Building Benny's Movie Park.